Hey yo, I'm Toasted Ideas, and today I would like to go over something that I thought of while going to bed, uh, which you are going to find out soon enough, or sooner than later, that most things that I think of come from my inability to sleep most nights. But anywho, I was thinking of something that growing up I've heard a lot. I'd, I'd even say too much. But it's the idea of everyone having a purpose. And I would, pr I, I want to question that. Because I, I think the reason why I have an issue with that position is just the amount of a statement that it is. And although I would say that my point is a, dep is a depressing point, it's something that I believe to be true and that would be the idea that the statement of everyone having a purpose is false and shouldn't be believed lest you want to be a fool for the fact that life is balanced and going by that logic I say that not everyone has a purpose in order for some people to have a purpose some people have to have an irrelevant life that overall doesn't and didn't have purpose. It's like the difference between rich and poor, attractive and ugly, good people and a-holes. Some people will be a-holes, others might be attractive, while others will hope for a better wage while a different sum of people might miss the important things. Now am I saying that some people are hoping for something that overall is futile? Maybe. But that also depends on how you look at it. People always rise and fall like a wave. Some people go from being outstanding to being seen as a de despicable person, which in that case, I would say that when one wave goes down, another one rises and someone who is who was seen as despicable might be seen in a brighter light. There are a bunch of cases of attractive people who will most likely die alone due to how ugly their personality is. There are a bunch of ugly people who might be seen for the greater side of their personality rather than their physical form. And for some people, they go from being close to this term of greatness to then making the wrong term or wrong step only for someone who had little going for them to see a missing spot and put on the big boy pants or whatever and step up to uh, rise to the occasion and reach their greatness. So what I, I think the positive in this is that even if you don't have something of purpose, you should always try something in the hopes that one day that effort will pay off and have a reason for the blood, sweat, and tears. So all I can afford is the idea that while everyone might not have a purpose, they should always try. Just try. And although it might mean nothing in the end, at least you can go out saying that you at least tried. In reality, I'd say that you should always try to pull a carpe diem for when something looks like it might be positive. It might not overall be positive, but we can learn from those moments on what not to do. Like, we all learn from our mistakes. People cause mistakes to then learn from them. That is why we have this grand old thing called history. We look through it and find out what happened and what was wrong and then don't do that because it was wrong. And, I mean, at the end of that, at least you can say that you tried. You should always try to reach your fullest potential because not doing so is the greatest regret that someone can have. As it means that you didn't try, rather attempted, which is close, but it's not the same thing as saying you tried. And for myself, as someone who has thought of this over and over again, I try to reflect upon myself and see if by any chance I have an overall purpose in life, or if I'm part of the percentage of just being overall irrelevant in the grander scheme of things. 
And I think that something that I have done, irrespective of how I want to live my life, that being of something of purpose or worth, is that I've actively downplayed myself. See myself in darker light rather than seeing something with great potential, as although I may have potential to be great, I also know that I may just never make it. Go on living a life to plan for great things, only for me to realize later on that I was never meant for a life of purpose, but instead one of the many who fall at the wayside of irrelevancy. And I have unpacked that downplaying to try and understand why I do it, and the best I can come up with is that I would rather plan for myself overall having no purpose than to plan for great things only to then fall short later on and having to go through the emotions of why me or whatever whatever equivalent to that. Now, I think what made me think about this, or at least started me on the this idea train, is the thought of prisoners with a life sentence. Because it's, it's hard to think of a purpose being adequate to imprisonment. As people who I would think of having a purpose would be people who change the world on a grander scale and are remembered for what they did. Now, on that thought track, you might note about people who committed horrific crimes that are therefore famous for what they did and subsequently changed the world. And in that case, I would say that they did have a purpose, as it takes a lot to make the world recognize you, and yet they did it, for the wrong reasons or motive, but they still did it. And what makes me differ them from most prisoners with life sentences is that they did horrific stuff on such a level that they are remembered for what they did. But the majority of the masses with life sentences are not remembered for their crimes. Maybe on a smaller scale. But that isn't changing the world. Just that smaller subset of people. And then over time, those people are forgotten by most or all people. Which, this then made me start thinking about how many people overall fade away through the hourglass of time and are forgotten. Jack the Ripper is still remembered after 135 years, just as Isaac Newton is still remembered after 296 years. But I have no idea as to who my neighbor's great-grandpa is. Even though that time difference would be shorter than Jack the Ripper or Isaac Newton, people know who Jack the Ripper is but have no idea as to who his victims were or what they did, as through time, they were meaningless and had no other purpose than to be the addition to a growing sentence. So now I ask, who had purpose in their life? The, for, the people who were forgotten or the people who, after the many years, are still remembered? I guess... I, I should attack this topic from a different perspective, other than life sentences, which I have chosen. Uh, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna choose to look towards a Canadian icon, Terry Fox, and I, I want to try and pinpoint his purpose as uh, his his pur pinpointing his his purpose is difficult. Would it be the reason for him becoming an icon, or the fact that he is an icon? That, uh, the, the options are that his purpose is either having cancer and wishing better for kids, or being the icon for making a trek across Canada and raising a lot of money for charity. And I will, for example reasons, say that his purpose was to raise all that money for cancer treatment to help better children. In which case, I would say that Terry Fox is remembered for the purpose of raising all that money, and yet nobody knows who gave a dollar towards the charity. People remember Terry Fox for the charity towards the cancer, 
but not the people who gave towards the charity. Overall, their uh, overall their contributions mattered, but who is to say that if that person hadn't given towards the charity, then someone else would have uh, given given towards the charity instead of that person? Uh, this goes back to the earlier statement of life being balanced and people being like a wave. If someone decided to not give towards charity, then maybe someone who wasn't going to then decided to give towards the charity. It wouldn't be purpose then, in my opinion, but uh, due to them, someone else, Terry Fox, was able to reach their purpose. So in this case, I would say that Terry Fox had purpose, but the people who gave towards his goal, I would say, didn't have purpose. As nobody remembers them, but instead, they remember Terry Fox. Does this make sense? It's a little bit of a brain jungle gym, but... I mean, it, it, it makes... It makes sense to me, but that's also because I'm in my my brain jungle gym. Anywho, so in total, I, I think I would say that the best thing you can do is not think about it too much. Because, or sorry, but instead, just keep on shooting for better. Truly find out how hot the sun is, but don't get burnt. As it's a long way back down, or in better terms... Just try to continue, or try until you cannot try any longer. You may never see a purpose, but you can try to look into the abyss and find out if it looks back at you. Kind of depressing, kind of depressing, because, I mean, like, I look upon myself and I ask, do I have a purpose? And I, I would like to think that I have one, but... If I'm being completely honest, I'm not even sure if I do. Do I have a purpose? What is my purpose? And who's to dep depict what that is? Is it up to me to depict what my purpose is? Or is it up to someone else to depict what my purpose is? Is my purpose even depictable? I don't know. These are the things I ask myself. And I, I, I wage it towards you to ask yourself these questions. I want you to go down in the comments and like, uh... Give your feedback. Do you think you have a purpose in life? And if so, what is your purpose in life? Do you think it matters? Or perhaps maybe you think it doesn't matter. In which case, you should try and find out if it can matter. That makes sense, right? I don't know. Just go down in the comments. Tell me. Do you think you have purpose? Because, I don't, I don't even know what you would do if you didn't find out your life had purpose. Would you try to change that, or would you just decide to continue on? Is it is it the right move to move towards purpose, or is it the right move to be okay with complacency? Because at least with complete, uh, complete, no, I cannot, English, complacency... There is balance in life, which perhaps that is what you're trying to aim for. These are the questions I ask myself. These are the questions you should all ask yourself because it is always good to have your brain thinking. It is always a very good thing to have your brain working, critically thinking, thinking about your life, thinking about if it matters, thinking about if what you're doing is of purpose, of reason, do you like what you're doing? If not, then why are you doing it? What is the purpose of what you're doing? And could you perhaps find a better purpose doing the same thing just in a different way? Perhaps you work at a job because you, need the, you have the purpose of needing money, but you don't like that job. Perhaps you could find a job that pays more, but is even worse, and then, or uh, worse conditions, maybe not even worse, but just worse conditions, but then save up more money so that you don't have to work those jobs anymore. Or you could live a more even-keeled life and go towards a, a nicer job, but for lesser pay. 
because then you'd at least enjoy like the your daily eight hours of time spent in a spot like let's be real here if you don't like what you're doing you should I, I would personally, but this is just me because I'm in a current situation where I could, I would change what I'm doing because I I would hate to find myself spending eight hours a day at a spot where I found no purpose and no reason to be there. It, it seems like a very big waste of time and energy to me. And you have to remember, time is money. Time... Time is a lot of things. You you don't have an infinite amount of time. Well, okay, that could be debatable with how technology is going. But we're not going to work on that. We're going to work on the biology of you having a due date one day. Like, one day you will go away. Are you doing what is making you happy? Are you doing, or are you just doing what you think you have to do? Is there a way you could work towards something that you would want to do? Is there a purpose to continue working a dead-end job? Or is there a purpose to find a happier meaning to work? You can love doing work, you just have to find the right job that you love doing. If you're a creative person working in a field or, or doing something that doesn't pertain to being a creative person, then you're just suffering. Or in my opinion... That's how I felt going through school, is like, you, I, I would spend seven hours out of a day just sitting down and doing what is told to me to do. My favorite, my favorite school things that we did, or uh, like, uh, tasks, subjects, I don't know what I'd exactly, a topic, I guess topic is like the creative writing, like um, uh, when we got to write short stories in our ELA class. Those were my absolute favorite because I'm a creative person. I love putting words onto paper that in true fashion don't really mean anything because it's just creative writing. It's fun writing. It's able to let my brain juices flow. That, to me, having fun while doing what you like is more purposeful than doing something constantly that you don't like. Because that that just seems like agony. I mean, it is agony, let's be honest here. It is. Anywho, yeah, go down in the comments, tell me. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you think you have a purpose? Or do you not think you have a purpose? And while you're down there in the comment section doing that, you should um, uh, comment on other people's topic, or other people's thoughts, you know? Continue the discussion down below, please. I would like to find out what you, all of your people... What of all... Of, eh, I love English. What all of your thoughts are down there. Mm, there we go, proper wording. And, yeah, while you're down there, hit that subscribe button, please. Um, join our bread bag community. Man, this is so corny. That, that is corny, but I have to continue on. I have to see it to the end. See if there's any purpose in calling you guys the bread bag. Bread box. Maybe I should change my name to bread box. No, absolutely not. I'm just ideas. Toasted ideas. But yeah, hit that like button. Because um, I'd like to have our video reach the eyes of more people so that perhaps they can join our community. That's always great because then we have more like-minded people thinking and using our brains down below in the comments. In fact, I'd even like to have non-like-minded people because then I'd, I'm not, I don't, I don't ever want to find myself in an echo chamber of a community. I would like to have many different conversations happening from different people. That's, that's what this whole entire community, this channel is about. Critical thinking. Think. Don't just think of you are always right. Think about other people's opinions as well and think, are they right or are you just right on this? Anywho, I hope to see you in the next comment section because I do truly enjoy seeing you all down there. It is, it's very nice to see it when people return. I like it. Um, but yeah, until the next video, have a good one.